Happy Sabbath Church and we'd like to welcome each one of you for our AY service today. Let's just begin our worship with a prayer. Let's pray. Lord, we humbly come before you today, summing our, submitting ourselves at the foot of your throne. It is so easy to get distracted in this life, taking our eyes off of you, hardens our hearts, our minds raise with discontentment, and we forget all the great things that you have done for each one of us, O oh Lord. Lord, we pray for a thankful heart. We pray that we would keep our eyes on you and remember of all the wonderful things that you have done for us, Lord. We want to be content, satisfied, and confident in you. Please help our unbelief and our negative attitudes. Thank you for your grace and your overwhelming love that fills our hearts. May the power of the Holy Spirit transform us today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Most of us have gone through a lot of tough, tough times and some are still going through. It is true, Jesus Christ is able to help anyone who is in need. The first song that we'll all sing together is, He is able. His love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. The next song that we'll all sing is Above All. Above all.
This song summarizes the reason we are alive and defines our purpose for living. Jesus, our God, seeks those that will worship him in spirit and in truth. The next song that we'll all sing together is Wonderful, Merciful Savior. We know that we are sinful, double-minded, and unworthy. But if God steps into our lives, we can be changed. The next song that we'll sing is, Change My Heart, O God.
evening and happy sabbath everyone hope you all had a fabulous week i would like to read a verse from the bible psalm 103:13 i'm reading from the king james version psalm 103:13 like as a father pitieth his children so the lord pitieth them that fear him i would like to wish each and every father who is watching and to every father out there a very happy fathers day Today's program is a tribute to fathers. Hope you all are blessed by it. My dad teaches me so much from the Bible. He helps me in everything I do. Like when I want to take part in speech competition or in recording and he even rewrites my script. When I grow up, I want to be a preacher like my dad. He's a fun dad. At the same time, he scolds me because he wants me to be a better person. Thank you, Daddy, for everything. Happy Father's Day! Thank you for being the best dad in the world, for being my support, my strength, and my guide. You have given me everything in life. We are blessed to have you. Happy Father's Day, Daddy. I'm very glad to have gotten you as my father. You've been very loving and very caring to me and Ratipa. You have done a lot for us. Even before we asked for things, you would understand what we needed and you would get us. And uh, looking at the love and the care that you show on uh, me, Ratipa and Mummy, I always wish that I should have a husband like you in future. And if at all I have a child. the child should have a father like you and god made all my wishes come true and uh, i'd like to thank god for giving me a, a good father as well as giving my child also a good father so happy fathers day daddy and happy fathers day ashish happy sabbath church it really makes me proud being a father and it really brings me great joy uh, there are a lot of changes that took place in my life it really had a very big impact i learned to be more responsible i had to balance my work my family and my time it really taught me a great values i really can't forget those sleepless nights that i had uh, taking my daughter for a night ride in the middle of the night just to put her to sleep and those days were really a very hard thing for me but now when i sit and count all those things it really brings uh, memories and really puts a smile on my face God has been so merciful God has been so gracious and I would like to wish all the dads a happy fathers day Hi dad Happy fathers day Thank you so much for all the sacrifices that you have done and thank you for all the love all the care all the affection all the blessings that you've taught me thank you for, for teaching me how to play football thank you for being a friend thank you for being an inspiration Thank you for all the care and the love that you show towards mom and me and uh, you are my role model and one day I hope that I will be a father just like you to my children. Thank you once again. I hope you have a great day and a year ahead. Love you dad. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, Papa. Thank you for all that you've done for me. The reason I'm here is all because of you and mommy's sacrifice. Thank you for being a good father. Happy Father's Day. Take this opportunity to wish all the dads out there a happy Father's Day. You deserve the best. Um just a few things about my father. Uh, I look up to him uh since he is a a very honest man, a man of integrity and he loves God, his church, his faith and his family. Uh he sets high standards that uh, we strive to keep each day and to summarize my father to me is the greatest homo sapien of all time. For Father's Day I want to talk about my father. There are a lot of things that I love about him, but there are some things that I love even more. For example, he sacrificed a lot for me. When I was young, I had severe dengue and severe stomach issues. Due to dehydration, my skull went in. My father was with me day and day and night. He did not sleep in the night and Some days he had to go to work. He hardly had an hour to sleep because he was with me, comforting me when I was in 
great pain. And that shows how much he loves me. And second thought is really fun. During the lockdown, I had a lot of time to spend with him. We play around with each other. We simply hit each other around. Um, we argue sometimes about who's better and what. And many more. Happy Father's Day to you. Happy Father's Day, Daddy. Thank you so much for everything you've done for us. Thank you for always teaching us to keep God first in our lives and to do what is right no matter what. Um, thank you for always making us laugh and making us the most delicious food and making us smile um, no matter what the circumstance. Um, thank you for setting such a good example for me and Johnny um, and just want to thank you for everything you've done for us and continue to do for us. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, Daddy. No words can totally express how blessed I am to have you in my life. You're so loving, so caring, and you've always had a positive influence to me in my life. Thank you so much for all the sacrifices and hard work that you've done for me and Mommy. All the best things that you have taught has made me who I am today. Every time I came to you crying, you always hugged me and told me everything is going to be fine very soon. And you would kneel down with me and pray for me for my difficult situation. That would give me more hope that everything is going to be fine very soon. Thank you so much for all your support and prayers, Daddy. Words may never be enough to tell how proud I am to be a daughter. Thank you so much for everything that you've done for me and for always being there. I love you so much, Daddy. Happy Father's Day. I would like to take this opportunity to appreciate my father for everything that he has done for me. He's always been there for me, even though he was so busy that um, yeah, he worked uh, away from the cities and they wanted to give me a better education. So my mom and me, we, we were in the city and my father uh, being a social worker had to go um, to the village, which was where his work was most often. And he would come only during the weekends. He was someone who showed that quantity is not important. The quality is what matters. Even though he was not there throughout the week, he, I would say he was there for everything. He taught me how to ride a bike. He uh, protected me from my mom, uh, who was super strict. And he pampered me a lot. Uh, he made me a better person. And he also taught me one important, I mean, he's taught me a lot of stuff, but this one stuck with me a lot. To see a positive side of anything, any problem, or uh, find the solution for a problem, not think, oh, what am I going to do now, or not get stuck. That's one lesson I learned from my father. Um, I, I, I really appreciate him for doing all that for me and loving me and um, providing for me, you know, without expecting anything back. Uh, and I love him very, very much. I would also want to take this time to appreciate my father-in-law who I started calling him as Jerry Uncle when I did not know uh, much about him and didn't know personally, but I still call him Jerry Uncle after seven years, or I'm sorry, eight years. Uh, but there's some, there's a change in insight. Even though I say uncle, for me, he's a father. He, he may be a father by law, but in my heart, he's my another father. And he's treated me that way. Uh, he's been there for me. He's, he's one of the kindest person I know. And no matter what I do, he, uh, he always defends me. And uh, I can always depend on my father-in-law to be on my side. And 
he's my tea partner and he's the most funniest person I know. He's, he makes me laugh. I love my father-in-law. Even though I say father-in-law, he's also my father. And I thank God for providing me with a wonderful father uh, and a wonderful father-in-law. Happy Sabbath Church. Yes, my life really did take a different turn after becoming a dad. I started seeing the whole world from a different uh, perspective. I became more responsible, more patient, more emotional. So yeah, most of all, I thank the Lord for choosing me and trusting me to become a father. Happy Father's Day to all the dads. Robin asked me to share my experience of becoming a dad. Well, the first time I held my son in my arms, it was the most precious moment of my life. There were a lot of emotions that came out, definitely excitement and love. And I also thanked God for the good health of both the mother and the baby. That night before I went to bed, I was thinking to myself, how time flew by. I was a young guy living a carefree life and now I am a dad. That brought a smile to my face. And the most challenging part of being a father came to me when I had to put my son to sleep during the nights. Those sleepless nights were one of the most challenging part that I faced. But all that got better in a month or two. And watching my son grow day by day to where he started crawling and take his first step and then speak out his first word was such an amazing experience. The most exciting part was when he started to speak. He would ask a lot of questions and sometimes I wouldn't even have an answer to those questions. The other day he broke a baking stand and I asked him, Jordan, why did you break this? He looked at me and he said, Daddy buy new one. And I looked at him and smiled. And at that time, I was, think, I was feeling sorry for my dad, thinking what he went through when I did that. Fatherhood is all about forgiving and sacrifices and love. And today, I want to thank my dad for all that he has done for me. And I'm proud to be his son and even more after I became a dad. My dad, Pastor K. Arthur Emmanuel, was born to a Ludan family in Rangoon. During the Second World War, they came back to Tamil Nadu where he came in contact with the Advent message. As a teen with great challenge in life, decided not to speak for seven long years just to become an Adventist in 1947 at the age of 17. He completed his bachelor's in theology as a self-supportive student in Spicer Memorial College with the aim to serve with Christ. He started his journey as an evangelist in 1957. After 35 years of dedicated service, he got retired in 1992 officially. But still today, he is active in spreading the gospel. I feel that my dad is a dedicated Christian and a faithful worker. His life has led me 
and educated me the importance of dedicated gospel work honest administrator in his duties his commitment to update the present world to the gospel prophecy is great even today hi dad wish you a 91st happy birthday 60th wedding anniversary and a pleasant father's day all the things your father taught you what do you take away and this is a paraphrase that is always telling me to ask the five w's of journalism look beyond what you were told when people told me that fiction was wrong my father pointed the parables of jesus when they told me that everything with a beat was evil my father looked at psalms and pointed out the cultural differences that we had in fact he would type out the lyrics of the songs i was listening to so i could better understand what i was taking in actually did it on a typewriter. When they told me about all these different things about God, my father pointed back to scripture and said, "Learn about God here." In fact, one time I was so keen on learning about all the back masking and the occult and everything else, my father said, "The time you take to learn that, if you paid attention to what learning more about God, you would recognize the devil wherever he is." And that is true. Too often we pay attention to conspiracies and and theories and all these weird things and prophecies. But my father said, and so paying attention to that, get to know God, pay attention to him and build that relationship. A father is only as good as his legacy, and I love the legacy my father has left me. It is to look beyond what I was taught, to make it better and pass it on to the generation ahead. Whether it's in the food that he helped me learn to make, and he has made biryani and a whole bunch of other stuff, I pass on to my kids. The way to look at scripture and to grow in God, that is something I pass on to my kids, making it better for them to understand it. but to know that it was my father that passed it on to me first. So today on this Father's Day weekend, I would like to say happy Father's Day dad and thanks for everything. Hey everyone, uh Clifford here. It's been the most uh, amazing journey with uh, daddy so far in life. Uh he's he's definitely taught me uh, different things which I still cherish for. Uh still remember when mommy said uh, he was a real life hero when he punched someone. Uh, a drunk stranger in fact uh, when he tried to grab me off uh, mummy's hands um a wonderful and a cool mm, scooter rider uh, when he had two two dogs myself and mummy um i still get to talk only about cricket and politics thank you for being that cricket partner to play with when i was small um and a wonderful teacher that master what not you've been everything a wonderful head of the family in 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 planning things and making decisions for myself and 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 mummy thank you for all what you've done uh, and being an amazing human being and to all those who think that he is a very silent man no he's not No, I'm just joking. He's still a yes. Happy Father's Day, Daddy, and continue to be that blessed person to all those who you meet. A father is the one who loves you so immensely that others may think that it'll spoil you, but then his firmness does not let that happen. His discipline is filled with love and gripped with that which is right. My father has been an epitome of that. He has raised me to be filled with tenderness and to call out on things that aren't right. My father has taught me patience by setting an example to live by. I can't honestly remember a day he raised his voice at me. My father has always been loving, gentle, and kind. and that's why i looked for those very qualities when i chose my husband my father has taught me to work hard and never expect to get anything easy his determination to excel has humbled me and made me feel that there is so much more to learn from him a 
above everything, his love for God has made me love God more every day. So today, I just want to say that I love you, Papa. God used a very, very special term to describe his relationship to us. He calls himself our father and we are his children. A father is one who has compassion for his children, one who loves at the same time, loves enough to correct them. He is the one who guides them and counsels his children in the way that they should walk. I I'm so grateful to God for a wonderful father who is all these things to me, who loves me and who is my friend and who I can rely on each time of my life to ask for counsel and guidance. I would like to wish my father a very... Thank you, Daddy, for being there for me no matter what. I can always rely on you. You've been so loving, kind and you're my role model. Words can't express how grateful I am to have such a wonderful father. Always look up to you and uh, we are all thankful to have a wonderful father. Happy Father's Day. A lot to search for pictures of us as kids with dad, but as we all know, they are always behind the camera, so we know why we don't have enough pictures of them. We should be grateful for what they have provided us. Thank God for that.
Of course. Hello. <laughs> Fathers. Many, many happiness happening. Very, very happy. Thank you. Godly fathers, however imperfect, are a microcosm of our Heavenly Father. They teach us many things about God, some of which are unconditional selfless love, forgiveness and acceptance, ever desiring and ever longing to be with us, however far away we wish to be from Him. always meaning the best for us even if it means walking us through perilous paths but ever present by our side and sometimes even willing to be misunderstood we do the best we can as fathers though we often fail to do what we want to do but often our children don't understand what we are doing just as we don't understand what god is doing with us it may take a lifetime to understand these In Hebrews 12:7 to 11 we read endure hardships as discipline God is treating you as his children for what children are not disciplined by their father if you're not disciplined and everyone undergoes discipline then you're not legitimate not true sons and daughters at all moreover we have all had human fathers who disciplined us and we respected them for it how much more should we submit to the father of spirits and live they disciplined us for a little while as they thought best but god disciplines us for our good in order that we may share in his holiness no discipline seems pleasant at the time but painful later on however it produces a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it wherever we are in life we know one thing for sure we are loved by our father Even if our earthly father fails us our heavenly father will never fail us Maybe you had a wonderful dad and have a lifetime of happy memories and a few not so great ones but maybe you've lost your dad Maybe your dad tried his best but wasn't a great father Maybe your dad was a heartless cruel man who did things that scarred you Maybe he was just a vapor to you walked away a long time ago leaving a gaping void maybe you're working your hardest to be a good dad but constantly feel like you fail maybe you have failed as a dad and are plagued with guilt maybe you're a single mom and grieve for the dad you wish your fathers had so you're trying to fill both roles god has boundless grace and healing for you He's eager for you to come to him for your father needs. Let's bow our heads for prayer. Our father, we thank you for fathers on earth. Thank you for revealing yourself through them. However imperfect that revelation may be. Our dads in all their earthly shortcomings are just a drop in an ocean of true things about you. Help us take that one drop that element of truth and through the holy spirit's work in our life discover more and more the completeness the perfectly sufficient father that we have in heaven and long for much more you have in store for us in heaven help us to love each other like you have loved us in jesus name we pray amen